caught and forced to live as a girl part two. My name is Heather now, but I used to be Sammy, a boy. I was kidnapped by a couple who wanted a girl child. They took me from the street when I was riding my pink scooter, which was actually my sister's. They thought I was a girl because of my long hair and clothes. They drove me far away to their country house and locked me in a pink room. They dressed me in frilly dresses and punished me if I resisted. They found out I was a boy, but they didn't care. They kept me as their daughter anyway. It was too dangerous to return me, they said. They could get arrested. I had no choice but to accept my fate. I couldn't escape. The window was sealed and the door was always locked. I only left the room to use the bathroom or take a bath. That's how it all began. I was forced to be a girl and I slowly forgot who I was. I was trapped in my room all day and night. I had to use a potty like a little kid and wait for it to be emptied in the morning. It was humiliating, especially when I had to do a big one. Every day, mommy, as I had to call her, would bathe me and teach me how to do my hair and dress me in girly clothes. I had nothing to do but play with my dolls and Teddy. I gave them names and pretended that Teddy would take one of my dolls and make her a boy like me. I read a lot of girly books and magazines, and I started to like the girly stories. I got used to wearing girly clothes, and I liked how I looked in them. I still missed my mom and sister, and I hope to see them again someday. Mommy, as I had to call her, let me out of my room during the day to play in the living room and help her with the housework. They took good care of me, and they didn't hit me if I was good. Mommy taught me at home and time passed quickly. I grew taller, and by 12, I was almost 5T. I nearly remembered my old life with my mom and sister, and I thought of Mommy and Daddy as my parents. They were nice to me, and Mommy said I had to wear a training bra now that I was 12. I didn't question it. I was a girl now. Mommy had been giving me some pills every day for some time, and I saw changes in my body. I became more curvy, and I saw my breasts growing. I was very excited to get breasts like mom. No hairs grew on me but some soft down in spots. My skin was smooth and my boy part was baby-sized. I only needed it for weeing. Mommy brought her friend Alice and her daughter Susan to see us. Susan and I were the same age, and we had fun playing. I liked having a friend to play with. We ran around the garden, hid from each other, and she showed me how to skip and play tennis. I loved being a girl, and I never wished to be a boy again. Sen's 13th birthday was coming up in a few days, and I had an invitation. I had been to her house before, but this was a party with her friends. I was so excited for it. Mommy helped me prepare for the party. She got me new clothes for the occasion. I took a bath, and Mommy helped me curl and style my hair. I had a bun on the back of my head with a ponytail and a fringe. I wore a hairband at the front. She got me a proper rose-red bra for the party and some pretty frilly rose-red panties with laceaging. I wore a pair of sheer tights and I felt like a big girl. My small breasts were pushed by the bra and I looked gorgeous. My dress was made of chiffon with a skirt underneath. It had a beautiful red leaf pattern on it. The top was a bright rose red with a chiffon draping on one side and a ribbon around my waist. Mommy painted my nails pink and gave me a makeover with some makeup. She applied some blush on my cheeks, some pink shadow on my eyes, and some mascara on my lashes. She finished with a rose-red lip color that matched my top. I felt like a grown-up girl. I wore black flats, a necklace, and clip-on earrings. I was a pretty girl. Mommy brought me to the party and chatted with her friend Alice. Six girls and one boy, Eric, came to the party. Eric was a twin of one of the girls. I enjoyed playing with them all. We had a lot of fun with games like running, skipping, ball tossing, piggy in the middle, and hide and seek. Eric always stayed close to me and liked to hide with me. He and I clicked so well and he kissed me behind a shed. It was my first kiss ever and I loved it. I kissed him too and we kept kissing while we hid. He was so nice and I felt like a real girl. The party wrapped up with a cake and sis making a wish. The party was amazing and I dreamed of Eric's kisses that night. I dreamed we would tie the knot someday. As I strolled down the church aisle in my beautiful white wedding gown, accompanied by my father, Eric eagerly awaited me by the vicar. Suddenly, my mother and sister hurried into the church, exclaiming, You can't get married. He is my son Sammy, not a girl. As I woke up, a wave of panic hit me. I suddenly remembered my mom and sister, who I had not seen for years. I had been living as a girl, Heather, with mommy and daddy, who had kidnapped me. I had lost all memories of my real family, but now they returned. I realized I was not Heather, but Sammy, a boy. I felt torn between two worlds. 
I enjoyed being a girl and having a boyfriend like Eric, but I also missed my mom and sister, who I had left behind when I was kidnapped. I woke up that morning, got ready in a cute dress, and wondered if I should tell mommy about my dream. But I decided to keep it a secret and think of a way to escape from the bungalow and mommy and daddy. I wanted to go back to my real family, but I had no idea how to do it. I only remembered the address of my old home, but I didn't know where it was, how far it was, or how to get there. On weekdays, Daddy left for work and Mommy had a lot of chores to do. Mondays were the busiest, especially with the laundry. That was my chance to sneak out. I had a plan and a destination in mind. When Monday arrived, I got ready as normal. I chose my blue dress with polka dots and a satin blue set of underwear. I wore white shoes that were flat, so I could dash down the stairs if needed. I visited Mommy as I always did and acted normal so she wouldn't suspect my escape plan. Mommy and Daddy were kind to me, but I missed my real mom and sister. I loved being a girl and didn't want to go back to being a boy, but I wondered how my mom and sister would feel when they saw Sammy as a girl. Despite everything, I now had breasts and a feminine figure. I had took pleasure in my appearance, feeling attractive and enjoying dressing in beautiful underwear and clothing. Mommy and I ate breakfast together. She wanted me to help with the laundry. I usually took it to the garden and put it on the line. I agreed to help and Mommy left to tidy up the bedrooms. I quickly called a taxi and told them to meet me at the main road. I grabbed some money from Mommy's purse on the table. Then I took the laundry to the line and hung it up. When Mommy was out of sight, I ran to the main road. The taxi was there at our gate. I got in and gave the driver my old address. We drove away. I saw Mommy at the roadside, but it was too late. We had a long trip, and then we reached this town. As we drove into our old neighborhood, I recognized some of the places. We stopped at the house where I used to live. I barely had enough money to pay the taxi. I was nervous as I walked to the door and rang the bell. My mom opened the door. She said, Hello, young lady, how can I help you? She didn't know me. I hugged her and said, It's me, Sammy. I'm home. She pushed me back and said, That's impossible. My Sammy is a boy. I said, No, mom, I'm a girl now. She looked at me closely. She moved my hair and said, You are Sammy. She kissed me and hugged me. She took me inside and I told her everything that happened and how I became a girl and how I wanted to come back home. She was so happy to see me again. But mommy and daddy got in trouble. They had taken me and made me a girl because they wanted a daughter. That was wrong. I never saw them again, but I still think of them. They were not bad people, just very lonely. Now I was with my mom and sister. I remained a girl and mom got me pills from the doctor. When I grew up, I had surgery to make me a real girl. Eric never came back into my life, but I have kissed many boys since then. I endure being a girl. My name is still Sammy, which works for both genders. I'm thankful for the kidnapping in a way, because it made me the beautiful girl I am today. I can't even picture how awful it would have been to be a boy. I hope you enjoyed my story. If you did, please show your support by liking and subscribing to my channel. There are more lovely stories coming soon.